In this video, we are going to discuss how to link a Hotmail account to your Gmail account, so you can check both accounts from within Gmail. Rather than having to go to Hotmail.com, Live.com, or Outlook.com to check your Hotmail, you will be able to open your Gmail account and view each of your email accounts there in one place. In addition, each email will be labeled so you will know which account the email was sent to and you'll even be able to reply using the email account of your choice. Before we can link a Hotmail account to Gmail, we need to do a little prep work in Hotmail. Open a browser and sign into your Hotmail account. In the upper right, click the Settings icon. From the drop-down list that appears, click Options. From the Options menu, find and click Connect Devices and Apps with POP under the header Managing Your Account. POP, which is short for Post Office Protocol, is simply a method in which email messages are moved from a mail server to an email client, such as Hotmail or Gmail. By default, this is turned off to provide extra security if unused. Click the radio button next to Enable. Leave the radio button checked next to Don't Let Devices and Apps Delete Messages, and then click Save. Leave Hotmail open, and then sign into your Gmail account. Once Gmail is open, click the Settings icon in the upper right, and then click Settings from the drop-down list. Along the top, there are several areas to choose from. Click on Accounts and Import to continue. Under Accounts and Import, we will focus on the section Check Mail from Other Accounts Using POP3. Click Add a POP3 Mail Account You Own to continue. In the box that appears, enter your Hotmail address and click Next Step. In the following box, the username is pre-filled. Type in your password. The POP server, pop3.live.com, and the port, 995, are also pre-filled. There are four options below. Leave a copy of retrieved messages on the server should be checked if you want to leave your email on the Microsoft servers. Otherwise, your email will be uploaded to the Google Gmail servers and deleted from the Microsoft Hotmail servers. Always use a secure connection SSL when retrieving mail is checked by default. This keeps the information inside your email protected when retrieved, so keep this checked unless an error prevents you from doing so. Label Incoming Messages puts a label in front of each email so you can see which account the email was sent to. Archive Incoming Messages uploads your email but doesn't show it in the inbox. To see it, you would select All Mail from the folder list on the left under the Inbox folder. Once all of the information is correct, click Add Account to continue. If you get an error message, try checking your Hotmail account to see if you received an email about unusual sign-in activity. If you did, open the email and click Review Recent Activity. Review the information and if everything looks OK, click This Was Me. Return to Gmail, re-enter your password, and then click Add Account. The next box that appears asks if you would like to be able to send email using your Hotmail account name. Leave the radio button next to Yes selected and click Next Step. Next, verify that the name shown in the box is correct and uncheck the box next to Treat as an Alias. We won't discuss Treat as an Alias here, but if you would like to know more about it, Click Learn More. Click Next Step to continue. In the Final Setup box, we will configure how mail is sent. The SMTP server, which sends email, is pre-filled along with your username. If needed, enter your password. We will make one change. Click the drop-down arrow to change from port 25 to port 587. Without a long-winded explanation, suffice it to say that using port 587 with TLS is generally preferable for security reasons and sometimes port 25 is blocked by internet service providers or ISPs. Leave the radio button next to Secured Connection using TLS selected and click Add Account. Once the credentials are checked, 
The next step is to verify that it's OK to send mail using your Hotmail address. Go back to Hotmail.com and open the verification email. You can copy the verification code and paste it in the Gmail box, but it's probably easier to just click the link in the email. We will click the verification link and a new tab will open showing that we may now send mail using our Hotmail address. Exit Hotmail. Back in Gmail, click Close Window to complete the setup. The Hotmail address is now added to Gmail and we can send email using our Hotmail address. Clicking the inbox, we can see that the Hotmail email now appears in Gmail. In addition, notice that each email is labeled so we know which email was sent to our Hotmail account and which was sent to our Gmail account. Click Compose and note the new message box where it says From. If we click the drop down arrow, notice that you can choose which email address to send from. In this video, we reviewed how to link a Hotmail account to your Gmail account so you can check both accounts from within Gmail. The show notes for this video are available by clicking the link below the video. Please help to support HelpfulVideoTips.com by subscribing to this YouTube channel and visiting HelpfulVideoTips.com to follow along on social media. I'm Tom Sutton. Thank you for watching.